motherfucking haters, you bitch ass niggas. Fuck looks friendly. Big. You've now tuned into the haters. Haters. You've haters, been set haters. on the fire by the heat. Haters. Heat. This is hotter than your breath in the morning. It's heat. the heaters. Someone call 911. <laughs> the heaters are in the building. Motherfucking heaters in the building, man. Is it a bird? <laughs> is it a plane? No. It's the heaters. And we are back, nigga, with another episode of Meet the Heaters, episode four. You already know it's your boy, Gullis, aka the bad guy, aka the dreadhead between your girl legs, and uh, I'm out here with my other heaters. We got your boy B Heater in the motherfucking building. You already know B Heater, so go back for another episode. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Reheater, man. Everything slept bad two times. Whoop. Forgot about the whoop. Can't forget the whoop, my nigga. Like, whoop. <laughs> it's your boy. We ain't here, boy. We out here, man. Take your bitch. Might give it back, because you just might need it. Woo! So, so it's Wayne Keaton now. Yeah, nigga. I it was cinnamon. It was, it was, it was, it was, every episode. I can't believe cinnamon. That's what you said it was. I was cinnamon dish, my friend. Woo! Cinnamon dish. All right, so uh, if y'all haven't heard, uh, a few weeks ago, Nicki Minaj's brother got accused of raping a girl and he was arrested now there was a rumor that said that Nicki minaj actually posted 100 racks for his bail but that shit is actually not true which i need to think about that shit and what? She, she also hasn't even commented about it like she hasn't said anything about the shit this is her cousin no her brother her brother this nigga's wild i think that's crazy and she I mean, anything to do with rape is crazy, but even with the minor, like a child, I think the chick Rape like period 13, is bad. 13 with the years child? Old, nah. That's, that's crazy. Anybody, nah. Name. She was young? Yeah, it was like oh, a kid. Yeah, it was oh, a child. Shit, I, I mean, know. but, you know, I, I, I want to give, like, at least benefit of the doubt right now because we don't know. Like, it could be the same case, like, with some R. Kelly shit. Like, they acquitted him and goddamn piss was still on that bitch. Uh, <laughs> do they have right. any evidence or anything like that? I have no None that idea. they've it's talked about so far. Say, I'm sure. say, but... Yeah. So do true. they have the age of the of the of the? Yeah, of he the... just said she was like thirteen. God damn. She's like thirteen, right? Yeah. Shit, this nigga's bugging. Yo, relax yourself, buddy. <laughs> it's not that real, buddy. <laughs> Shout pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Meek Mill, this nigga failed his urine test for his probation. Um, be here, you take this one over. I don't really know too much about this. All I know is that this nigga thinks he's a bodybuilder now, so. <laughs> well, you kind of gave it away, but let's do it. Basically, he went in to do a urine test, and when he went to the laboratory, and he gave him the, his urine sample, so supposedly the people at the lab told him that it was cold and it was clear, so basically they thought it was water. But you try to give them some, basically some Fiji in front like it was some piss. <laughs> so basically they asked him, you know, why does your piss look like this? And he, his excuse was that uh, he's actually been drinking protein shakes and drinking a lot of water because he's actually a bodybuilder. So, I don't know. Uh, last time I checked and I seen this nigga meet, he didn't look that brolic, but what y'all niggas think? Facts. Uh... This nigga's full of shit. That's what I think. Could have came up with a better lie, but... Or he's full of protein shit. <laughs> this nigga's bugging, my nigga. A bodybuilder? Really? Y'all don't got any better excuses <laughs> for this nigga? Yo, we gonna write... I'm gonna get all the fans to just comment and, and write better excuses and send that shit to me, man, because that shit... Come on, bro. Uh, nah, man. I, 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 hope, I hope it still work out for him. I don't... I don't like seeing a nigga go to jail and shit, no matter what, you know what I'm saying, it's over, but unless it's like some crazy stuff, like him, him smoking, whatever, whatever the case may be, like, he still shouldn't be on probation, man. Um, Nicki Minaj actually yeah. testified. And shout out Nicki, man, um, shit, real, smoke. Smoke. Definitely shout out real chick right there, man, like, shit. 
Even that she knows a lot, she just, you know, she lied on trial for the day, and that's, that's, what, that's what it is, man. You got to ride or die in a, in a multi-millionaire. Well, Big Mill goes to court December 17th, so good luck with that, Meek. Hopefully everything goes well with that. Th- that's Bless probably, me. like, his his second, like, second mark, right? Because he just got his um, probation violated because he went to that award show. Yeah. Like, so this is, like, the second shit, right? This nigga probably going to go to jail. It's a possibility, but you know. Let's not talk about that. Let, let's let's just but rolling, let's just be optimistic and hope for the best. Rolling right into that, um, Drake fans have been bothering and harassing the prosecutor to arrest Meek Mill, my nigga. And I actually saw that. I didn't read the article about cool. it, but I was just like, "That's wow. fucking crazy." I didn't want to read it. Like, like, That's why y'all stuff. wishing prison on this man, dude? Not I, cool. I know Meek Mill took a L this year, but come on, it's never that real. It's never that serious to wish death and to wish. Jail on a nigga, like. But more than anything, I hope like the DA doesn't take that as like, for what fans have, you know, them picking sides on rap beef and taking that to re- real life, and deciding somebody's you know time, you know what I'm saying, as far as out of their life going to jail, just because fans are upset at this nigga, like, that's bullshit to me, man. That shit's crazy. I also, like- I hope the judge is not a Drake fan. Cause if it, that's the case, it's over for this nigga, man. How the fuck they get the prosecutor number though? Like that's just crazy. Fucking hackers. Yo, fans, stay away from me. Chill, yeah, man. Let Relax them just do what they gotta do. Judge, don't listen to no Drake. Um, since we talking about Drake, um, back to back has been nominated for a Grammy. There we go again. So, <laughs> yo, the first if disc record. If it just doesn't get ever to get bad nominated, enough, man. That's crazy. I want to sh- I w- honestly I want to bring in my man Rihita at this point because you know he's he's a real avid Meat Mill fan. I just want to know what he's feeling right now. How, I, what's his take on this right now with everything that's been going on in these past series of events these past couple of days? Next subject. <laughs> <laughs> that's Yo. probably the best thing he said. All seriousness though. Right, I feel <laughs> like my nigga, I feel the same yeah. way, my nigga. Moment of silence for that nigga, that ass, cause, yo, me, yo, yo, you, I, listen, man, me, like I said, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I was a fan. I'm gonna be honest. I can't say I'm still a fan right now. I was a big fan of you, and I can still become a fan again. It's not a problem. But you have to start coming back to music. Bring it back to the music. Cut all the extra shit out. Stay focused on what you here to be doing, like. Sitting here, focus on other shit, man. Come on, man. Worry about Drake. Jail shit, you got Shout out to Drake. Right you know what I mean? A not Grammy nomination is always good. And I mean, when was the last time you heard a diss record was nominated for a Grammy? I think this is the first time ever. For, probably, like you know what I mean. So pretty well. I mean, it was a good record. I ain't from. I bumped this shit back to back, like literally. Niggas play that shit in the club, like that's All crazy. Right. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to Mill again. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Three oh, three oh. Violation. So, y'all niggas heard of that Wu Tang, that new Wu Tang album? Mm, no. Nope. Of course, because there's only one fucking copy available in the world, my niggas, and they sold that shit for two million. Yo, what? They, they dropped went the album instantly. Exactly. Two Double, times. Two times platinum. Instantly. How you drop an album with just one copy and sell that shit? The nigga who um who bought it, he signed. He had he had to sign a contract saying that he can't leak it, or I guess he can't sell it either for eighty eight years. They just came up. Shout out to Wu Tang, man. Still finessing at this age. Like, I wonder how much like each person in Wu Tang got because you know there's like fifty to a hundred members in Wu Tang. So that's a fact. That's crazy, my Are they still but, signed or are they the independent now, by now? I don't know. I don't shout out to Wu-Tang, man. That was crazy. Shout out to Wu-Tang. That's crazy. Any of y'all niggas see 50 Cent making fun of Rick Ross's album sales? I ain't get to see it. I heard, but I mean, I don't know. I guess that shit is kind of corny. I mean, the album was not that bad. I like I, the album wasn't that great. The album was pretty good. But it was not like bad it. at all. Like it, It's not it, bad. It's just that 
this in this age, day and age, it's really hard to sell albums. So. Well, hard copies at least. I feel like that shit wasn't that fire though. Shit was all right. But I feel like it was 30, pretty good, man. I feel like Shout out thirty-four thousand. I don't know. I feel like he should have sold more. Thirty-four thousand. Definitely should have sold more. I think so too. He doesn't control that though. But at the same time, I don't feel like it had that much promotion as much as his last albums and as like the singles, like like the the power of the singles. Like he didn't really have like a crazy, crazy, crazy single like how he usually has. I'm a like like a like um uh I'm a boss and all the other shit that he used to come out with before for his last albums, those are like big hits. It made you really want that album. Honestly, I didn't even know that what the release date of this album was, so that speaks for itself. I don't know if y'all were looking for it or if y'all knew about it coming either. out, but I know it was I didn't even know what the single was. Sorry, you got it already know. Yeah, Chris Brown. Now I know, but before I didn't. You know how niggas do it now. Everybody's doing that trend of just throwing their shit out. You say you don't miss, man. You better. You better think you, you gotta be on your shit to do shit like that and that's a that's a risk you, you gotta be willing to take. You gotta have money honestly to do that because you lose a lot of money doing that shit too. That's crazy to think that he might not even go gold. Like I think all his shits are going gold, right? Y'all gonna see I think once the, the, the music starts moving and then more and more singles come out. Yeah, he has to get get out more singles to like to help promote. And once he goes on like a tour or something like that, he'll be good. He'll at least be able to go gold. A lot of music flooding right now, so everybody probably didn't touch the project. That's true. The project yet, so it's a lot of free music coming out right now. Also, shout out to Rick Ross, man. Shout out to Rick Ross, man. Black market. A few weeks ago, Lil Boozy had announced that he he got kidney cancer. Uh, recently, he had surgery, and it went well. Didn't so, they say? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't they say that he actually like? Cured him of his cancer? I'm not, surgery? Sh- I'm not sure. But all I know is they said that the the surgery went well, so everything looked good right now. Yeah, yeah, boozy, like man. Half of his kidney is gone, actually. Now, they had to, like, take out half his kidney during the surgery. But, I mean, that's good to see that he's pulling through and everything's going well with that. Shout out to Boozy, man. Shout out to Boozy. Boozy. Badass. So, y'all niggas know about Everything that been going on with that stitches situation. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, this nigga stitches. He's some type of rapper. Um, he he has some type of beef with game. Um, he went looking for game one night. He got knocked out by game's manager. Um, that night I think he got arrested. Now, the next day, he posted a video and said that his own squad jumped him and that game actually paid his squad to jump him and now he's coming out and saying that um his left eye is partially blind because of what what happened to him i mean talk about the worst two days ever facts and a video of him getting getting fucked up was was twice twice yeah yeah (laughs) i feel like this guy's a troll sounds like a mean setup for a lawsuit it, yeah, it could be a, it could be a troll too. You'll see it coming soon. He's he say he's going blind now because of that. Yeah, one of his he said his left eye is partially blind. Lawsuit so coming soon. You'll see Facts. Watch out for it. I mean, possibility because I mean, you get a lot of punches to your face, like you know. What I mean, I would assume some type of damage could get done, but at the same time, like who's he gonna sue? He's gonna sue his man's game. And he Game can blame the game's him. manager as part of it, like, as part of the damages. Facts. Oh, no. That's kind of, like... Nuts? Yeah. This <laughs> nigga Stitches is out here wilding, boy. I mean, you get what you deserve, man. Like, you out here wolfing, you, bro. Like, what you think is gonna happen? You went looking for problems, and problems found you. Crazy, Stop with don't the fuck shit, I don't man. condone violence, man, but hey, everybody just stay in your own lane. Like, <laughs> just stay in your lane, just do what y'all gotta do. Get to the money. Everybody need to chill the fuck out. Get into these sports, man. Sports? Sports section. 
Let's talk about the Warriors. Fuck, breaking stop. news, breaking news, breaking news. As you guys already know, pretty sure you guys already watched the game. The Warriors, as you guys know, we always talking about Stephen Curry, always talking about the Warriors going crazy. Little tricks. They always was, they were looking like they was probably going to go 82 and 0. But it's over for that one. <laughs> they lost last night to the Milwaukee Bucks. To the Bucks. 95 to 108. And, uh, man, it was crazy. I was watching, I, I didn't see the whole game, but I was watching some of the, like, uh, parts of the game and some of the highlights. And psh, that boy, Greg Monroe, was going crazy. He had 28 points, 11 for 16 from the field. Andrew Bogey could not stop this guy. And that looks like maybe it could be one of the Warriors' weaknesses. Not saying that they're. Oh wow, they lost their first game. Now they're beatable. They're gonna lose every game. Nah, it's not happening. They're gonna probably win the next ten games on nigga. But at the same time, it does look like they do have a problem with good big men. Two good good two way two way big men. Big men that can score and play defense. So I mean shout out to the Bucks. I mean, they just had everything hitting on all cylinders. Like it was their night and they shout out Jason do. Kidd as well, man. Yo, just shout, they, yeah, shout out to Jason Kidd. Definitely held it down. Like Stephen Curry, he played good. You know, he had 28 points. Um, Clayton Thompson had a little slow night. He had 12. He had shot 4 for 14. So that definitely played a role in them losing. Um, Draymond played good. He had 24 points. 9 for 14 from the field. Can't complain with that. Pretty sure they're going to bounce back. Like I said, probably win the next 10 games. So. Facts! I still think they're going to end up beating the Bulls record. It's crazy. As crazy as it is to say, I think they still have the pieces to Definitely do it. still a possibility. That's, a long as they don't lose. That's, that's unbreakable. As long as they don't lose. That's not unbreakable. And I see that like with this team. It's like they have the camaraderie. They have the right pieces. They have like the right coach. They have the right staff. They have... Man, what what more do you need? They have a championship. They're coming off of a championship, and they're playing this well. Tell me they're not better than what they were last year. They they gotta get better. I mean, it's, 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 it's always gonna happen. You exactly. Know, keep playing, they're definitely getting better. Exactly. So well, I'm are saying they gonna go like, seventy two and, and seventy three and ten? I, just I, to beat it? I, I honestly, I don't, I don't know. I don't see nine. Yeah, it was seven three nine. I honestly think yes. I think they will at least lose. I would say at most eight games. <clears throat> eight games is what I think they'll end up losing. When it's all said, me, I'm pre- like I said, I'm predicting them to go seventy and twelve. That's my prediction. And that's still that's still that's amazing. Still, like man. I said, that's yeah, like, that's, that's still, still amazing. amazing, man. What they're doing right now but is it's amazing. possible. The way they're playing, if they could just keep up with their playing, that the way they're playing, they could go at least seventy and twelve. Like, Steph Curry, at least sixty-five. Steph Curry, man. Ah, uh, yeah. Steph. Shout out to Steph Curry, man. Yeah. Shout out to the Warriors. They Shout out to the little tricks, man. How did Barbosa do? Uh, I don't know. We don't talk about that guy. <laughs> Barbosa. <laughs> Shout out to Barbosa, though. He had two points, one for four from the field. The Knicks played last night, right? Knicks played last night. Yes, they did play last night. And the Knicks did win last night, pulled through a tight game, 112-110 to the Portland Trailblazers. I ain't going front. Even though the, tra- the Trailblazers lost, their backcourt is still looking crazy. CJ McCollum, still a beast, and Damian Lillard, still looking like a beast. And my man, Chris Stapps, my favorite, you know, that's like my savior this year. That's my boy. This guy... Didn't have a good night. You know, I guess, you know, he's definitely hitting that rookie wall right now. That that back-to-back with go, um, away games was definitely showing in, in his game. His legs was not there. Uh, he was definitely didn't have a good game. But Melo pulled through. He had 37 points, looking like all-star again. And we need that type of play a little bit more consistently coming from Melo. If we could get that, they'll be a little, you know, they'll be all right. But, um, yeah, shout out to the Knicks for pulling that through. Of course, you had the Clippers play against the Nets. They beat them 105 to 100. And then the Celtics, they play against the Hornets. They beat them 98 to 93. Paul George and the, and the boys in the, Indiana, they beat Pistons 118 to... No, they actually lost. Wow, that's crazy. They lost 118 to 96. 
Ouch. The Spurs played the Hawks and they won 103-78. to Pelicans, they played the Bulls and they lost 94-98. to The Lakers played the Rockets and damn, they lost 126-97. to Washington Wizards, they played against the Mavericks. They won 114-111. to And yeah, that was your game for last night, man. I'm looking I'm looking forward to the upcoming games. You know, Christmas is coming up, guys. So, you know, there's usually pretty good games around Christmas time. So, y'all look out for those games. Um, I'm going to go and check that out for y'all. Let y'all know what games is coming up for Christmas. But. <clears throat> I know y'all see that boy Brown Brown sign that contract. Oh, the lifetime. Lifetime, the lifetime, lifetime contract. contract? That, how you sign a lifetime contract? Because he's franchise nigga Brown Brown. That's fucking crazy. That's my good guy. For life, bro. What? I mean, you good. Your kids' kids good. Your kids' kids good, man. But you just still a quick got wrap more up. to come. <clears throat> so quick wrap up, just to let y'all know the Christmas games. You got the Pelicans playing the Miami Heat, 12. You got the Warriors. Bulls playing against the Thunder at 2.30. You got the Cavs playing against the Warriors at 5. Ooh. And these are all Eastern times, to, you know. These are all Eastern times. We're in the East, so... Um, and we also got the Spurs playing against the Rockets. So the Cavs and the Warriors and the Spurs and the Rockets, Bulls versus Thunder and Pelicans versus Miami. You know what I mean? You got some pretty good games. So y'all could, yeah, after y'all open up them gifts, y'all go check that out. That Cavs game was a problem. This nigga's some brown, brown nigga. Rematch, oh, bro. rematch of the finals. <clears throat> rematch, man. Kyrie gonna be back. My son, little tricks. Kyrie gonna be back. Yo, Kyrie, Kyrie come back this weekend, so I'm excited. Let's get it. I got, I got to see him play. I got to see him play this weekend. Yeah. Gotta see that shit. You gonna have to give him some time. Kyrie. <laughs> Kyrie's that nigga. Handles God. <laughs> all hell, all handles God. Nothing else. No football. No soccer. No hockey. I'm no not tennis. I'm not the best. No baseball. <laughs> Volleyball, lacrosse, football. It was a fight, a UFC fight yesterday. McGregor and some other dude. McGregor spanked that nigga in thirty eight seconds. Thirteen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see Thirteen that shit. seconds. That nigga like like spanked his ass. I was like, <laughs> what? Thirty eight seconds? Those niggas are tight. They spent mad bread for those tickets to go watch this fight. You know, this shit was over in thirty eight seconds. Tight. Niggas that bet against the loser, they lost their rab in 38 seconds. It reminds me of the Tyson fights from back in the days when he used to beat people in 10 seconds. I was watching some Tyson documentary earlier, actually. Chasing Tyson on Netflix. The show was fire. Oh, check that out. Battle rap? Is battle rap. rap. Is battle rap song? Oh, man, there is way too much shit to talk about in battle rap. Battle um, rap. The first thing we're going to talk about in battle rap... <clears throat> um. B Magic versus uh, versus KG the poet. Now, I didn't watch this battle mad times, my nigga. And for the life of me, I cannot f- find the winner in this fucking battle. This shit is too good, my nigga. The back and forth is just too good. I don't know who the fuck won this battle. So I'm just gonna say this battle is up for debate, my nigga. Either you a B Magic fan or you a KG the poet. I can't decide a fucking winner. So we're going to move on from that. Uh, the Syndicate Cartel dropped a few battles. Um, QP versus Bonnie Godiva. This is... I didn't. I don't know where this fucking battle came from, but shit was type fire, my nigga. Now, wait, <clears throat> QP the guy? Yeah. Wait. There's two niggas named QP. One called... Clean Q- Paper? Yeah, Clean Paper. The other nigga is Quantum Physics. Quantum mm-hmm. physics is the one that battled Bonnie Oh, Damn, I thought it was clean now, pipe. My man ain't here. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I clean, pipe. Now, clean niggas, paper. Now, niggas, shout clean paper. Niggas always, niggas in battle rap always said that quantum physics QP is actually one of the nicest, has one of the nicest pens in the game, and I've never noticed that shit. But watching this battle and listening to this niggas bars, my nigga, I see why niggas say that shit. This nigga. Was saying some crazy shit, my nigga. Like, oh my god, type shit. Like, how did you come up with that type shit? Mm. So, this nigga won. I got him winning that shit. Bonnie, Bonnie did her her Bonnie shit. Like, she had a few bars. She ain't no slouch, but 
she ain't come like she she couldn't beat this nigga. Like this she ain't come with her no much. bars, pretty yeah, much. Pretty, yeah. She got a no bar, bars, pretty much. Not no bars. QP QP one two two one. He got round one and three. I only give Bonnie the second round because she pocket checked him. <laughs> like she pocket checked him. She, 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 she pocket she checked this nigga real quick. She took a check out of shotgun's book. She, yeah, she pocket checked this nigga real quick. Um, the next battle that the syndicate dropped was um, DNA versus Real Deal. Um, B Eater, was you here when I was watching that? Who was here? No, I don't think rather I you. Oh, it was probably somebody else. Um, DNA got that two one. He got round one and two. Um, next shit, the Trap House New York drop. Dot versus Scotty. Now I got Dot winning. Round two and three. Shout out Dot. to Dot. You already know is Dotism all day. Reach God. Dot. Um, yeah, man. Y'all here. Uh, Shout Smack, out to Dot, man. Smack dropped a few battles. Um, Brooklyn Carter versus Illinois. Now, this battle was type fire. Um, Brooklyn Carter, he's a new nigga. He's, this nigga is nice, my nigga. Like, he's one of my new favorite niggas. There's a lot of new favorite. I got a lot of new favorite niggas. I hope these niggas don't flop. But Brooklyn Carter is nice. Um, Illinois is, he's alright, but he needs to, like, come with more punches. Like, I think he be trying to just talk to niggas too much, but he alright, though, but, um, Brooklyn Carter got that. He got round one and two. Um, Steams versus Young Cannon. Um, I forgot which, who won which rounds, but I got Young Cannon winning that. Um, that was the battle we seen? Yeah, I think we had watched that together. I got Young Cannon winning round one and round three. Okay, so I I just got um why well, can't win in that um well um R B E dropped Chilla Jones versus Danny Myers remember we had watched that Barca Bar Barca so I got Danny Myers winning uh. that battle um yo but Chilla Jones shot too yeah, yo he, he had some bars, bars he had bars, bars. Like, he had it's bars. just that he didn't have the delivery and the aggression yeah I feel like his aggression and wasn't don't really get it yet. twisted guys yes Bar God. Danny Myers has a lot of bars, but I feel like sometimes he says some whack shit, but it gets overshadowed by the next high. Ah, Barker. So that right there, don't listen to all the bars. Pretty much, that's all I'm trying to say. Listen to all the bars, because my son Chilla Jones, he has some bars. It's just that when he said some whack shit, being that he did, you know, his shit is a little stretched out and it's not as animated, not as loud, and it's not as fast as Danny Myers' flow. You pretty much heard every flop, so, but it was a good battle. I fucked with it. Yeah, nice. shout out, shout out to RBE, shout out to ARP. Perfect day to die battles on that card: Tay Rock versus John John the Don, Kayshawn versus X Factor, Charlie Clips versus Shotgun Shug, Chilla Jones versus The Saga, and DNA versus Briz Rothstein. So, what y'all think about those? Tay Rock versus John John. You already know, like, I, I ain't gonna John front, John John, John John been blacking lately, but you already know, man, I'm going with home team, like, I ain't gonna Tay Rock gonna go wild on that boy. If, if, being that Tay Rock always stealing nigga shit, if he steals his shit and do crazy ass gun bars on that nigga, crazier gun bars and Tay Rock be stealing nigga, nigga shit? Huh? Tay Rock be still in the nigga shit? Nah, John John. Nah, John, John. Oh, John, John. Just John. Take another shit. Take nigga shit and just do, do his own kind of shit with it. But if he come through his own gun bars and, he, and then them shits is fire, nigga Tay Rock might have a night on his head. I'm interested to see what Kayshawn going to say. Versus X Factor. That's kind of weird. Kayshawn like, versus X Factor. X Factor hasn't been on URL in a minute. Well, I'm just more like, like what is he going to say towards like Murder Mook saying he's not on. We was, oh, we was gonna get into that later, but okay. Um, why the fuck is Charlie Clips battling Shotgun Shook? That shit seems weird to me. Like, I feel like they shouldn't even be battling each other. I hope he comes with a third round. Charlie Shotgun Shook's gonna pocket check Charlie Clips for not having a third round. <laughs> He's gonna pocket check him and look for his third round in his pocket. I think Charlie Daylight Clips. should battle Shotgun Shook. What? I said, I think they like you better shotgun shit. That would be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> DNA they battle? Who, Daylight Shotgun? Yeah. No, Daylight Battle Math. Can't pocket check a Batmobile. 
but they got a lot of Batmobiles. That's the man. battle when he was like, "Did you see that? That's Batmobiles right there. Six I five, that. six two, six one. And they spilled the water. Yeah, you drop water on me, my nigga. Um, DNA versus Briz Rostin. We already know DNA is about to win that. Like, there's no way Briz Rostin is gonna win. That's Briz Rostin. Um, but yeah, Briz so, Rostin he be coming around with some shit though. Kind of does, but he, yo, he hasn't beaten anybody. Smack has put him. He too this. Philly. I don't know, man. Um, since Aheita had brought it up, uh, Murder Ooh. Mook came out and said that Kayshawn is basically not Dot Mob. Kayshawn is just NWX. What's that after the the shit with uh Sharon where he smacked him and all that? Um, I don't know if it's because of that or just because I feel, I guess, that he kind of been distancing himself from them niggas. And if you guys didn't know, Sharon had a battle with Kayshawn. It was a two-on-two battle, DNA and Kayshawn and Sharon. Who was Sharon's partner? Um, 100, 100 Bullets. 100 Bullets. And he got the shit slapped out of him. So, yeah, these niggas, these like, niggas had a two-on-two. He slapped the bars out that nigga. Um... Sharon and 100 Bullets, they was battling DNA and Kayshawn. Um, Sharon had a little prop shit he was going to do where he was going to act like he was Slim Jesus. So they bought out fake guns and shit. And Kayshawn wasn't feeling that. Kayshawn slapped the gun out of Sharon's hand. Sharon then slaps Kayshawn in the back of his head, making his hat fly off. Then, as a reaction... Kayshawn just turns around and smacks Sharon in the face. So, that shit was wild crazy. Them niggas was wildin'. And you know what's crazy? I heard that Kayshawn already had knew beforehand that they was gonna do that. So, in his head, he already probably premeditated that he was gonna smack the gun out of his hand. Like, and he just didn't think that Sharon wasn't gonna do nothing about it. Nah, he white knew nigga. he was gonna slap the gun out of his hand, but he didn't know Sharon was gonna slap him in the back of his Yeah, that's what I just said. He ain't figured that he, because he's white, he figured he wasn't probably gonna do nothing. Because he ain't do nothing when Arsenal was all up in his face. Arsenal was wild on Kayshawn. Kayshawn didn't do none of that shit. But did Arsenal, like, slap him or touch, touch him or anything like that? So Arsenal was touching him, like, he was. He slapped him in the back of his head and he he's half flying to the crowd? His head. He ain't smacking back his head. I'm just saying. Like, Did his half fly in the crowd when he battled Arsenal? Nah, but what I'm trying to say is Kayshawn knows... That shit was disrespectful. You can't go back to the hood. That's... <laughs> you I'm think if saying. you got your hat slapped off and you went back to the hood, especially by a white boy, and you went on camera, and Kayshawn you went back know, to the hood, they Kayshawn were going to go, Kayshawn know who and who <clears throat> not to act up with, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I feel like Kayshawn would have slapped his I feel like he wouldn't have... He slapped his cool off. He wouldn't have well, done that shit tried. to, like, head ice or some shit. What was he, did him and head ice have, like, a little situation at one point? Huh? What's he, did him and head ice have a little situation? Nah, um, huh? head ice and, um, I think Mook and them had a little situation or some shit like that. Not him. But anyway, that shit was wild crazy, my nigga, like. Well, you never know. Well, uh, Mook probably just saying that because. Cause uh, Kayshawn's on his own shit right now. Like, it's probably nothing towards him. I don't know. I never, thought, I never thought I'd see some shit, see some shit like that. But Kayshawn is not Dot Mob no more. I mean, DNA probably about to start their own shit. Mm-hmm. Nigga, they got NWX. Oh, yeah. Alright, shout out yeah. NWX. They going for yeah, NWX. NWX been killing, though, lately. Well, maybe he just take us NWX to that new shit. And Dot Mob ain't really out there no, like man. that. Mook ain't worried about that shit. Mook is Mook, my nigga. Like, he's fucking Godfather of this shit, bro. Man. Let Mook battle somebody real, nigga. Mook got a battle hollow. That like, is a fact, boy. Mook got a battle daylight. Mook does have a battle, battle hollow. Mook got a battle hollow. Mook got a battle hollow. Mook got a battle hollow. For me to, really, for me to really be like, yo, Mook is still that nigga. He got to battle hollow and beat that nigga. He has to battle hollow. He don't got a 3-0 on him, but he got at least 2 on him easy. That'd be an battle. easy two one. Oh, but you know who's battling Mook next? Sue Sir. Really? Uh, if he's if he comes with Cole Slide, if he comes with Cole Slaw on the side, God, is he, he might still win. not gonna win? That's but a, you know that's why that's happening. All because of Drake. Just because Drake said 
you gotta get through through Surf to get to me first. That's the only reason why they're battling, my nigga. He's wasting his time with Drake's still not gonna battle. This nigga, him. Yo, huh? A Verb just beat Sue Surf. Yep, I said it. A Verb just beat Sue Surf. Like a few days ago, my nigga. That shit is on pay per view right now. A-verb. I was listening to that shit earlier. A Verb. Yep. He needed that. Averb is packed. He needed, he needed that. Averb's not packed. Lately, he's been packed. But when Averb's on his shit, he's that. He's one of them niggas, man. Nah, Averb used to be that nigga. I say, like, he used to be two, one mid of my 2000s. He was. Yeah, like, oh, wait, late oh, right. Mid 2000s, late 2000s. He was nice, my nigga. He had balls. I was just like, I'm talking about like slim Aver. <laughs> when he was a fat no more. Now he's a fat nigga. It's like with the fat that he got the bars, Lord. He lost the bars, my nigga. He, he was that. getting he, chewed. He eating now. That's I was I'm like, about. yo, this nigga's not the same nigga no more. Like, the part. Shout out to Aver, man, because I heard you, 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 you beat that boy, man. Shout out to Aver, though. Suit Surf has some shit, but it's <laughs> really enough. Shout out to Aver. But, um, yeah, man, Suit Surf versus Mook. Now, who the fuck thinks Sur- Suit Surf is about to beat Mook? It's first of all, happening. first Wait, first of all. It's not happening. First of all, Mook got to go through Adrian Broner. Ooh. Again. Oh, my God. He does have he to go through that nigga. To Drake. Shout out to Adrian Broner. You Yo, guys didn't about, see that. That shit's actually About YouTube. two years ago. I've never seen that. Same about thing. two years ago. I got to go watch that. I sent you the link, my nigga. You got to <laughs> About two years ago, these niggas, I see. these niggas had a little like one off, if you want to call it, like when niggas is just announcing shit on stage, and Andrew and Bruna actually beat this nigga in like a back and forth. Like I couldn't believe that shit. He didn't go back. He had a quick forth. one rounder. He had a quick one rounder. Back and forth. I ain't going front. I had to watch. I, I mean, eight, eight, my son P he to actually show me this shit. And this nigga, Adrian Broner, actually won that shit. I couldn't believe it, but he actually won that shit. I have Even though he started to drag it too. a little bit at the end because he knew that he won. But so he, he was trying to drag won. it even more like, should I do it again? Again? Should I do it again? You know, everybody was like, all right, just, you already you already won. Just, just stop it now. But the nigga did win. And, but we all know that if it went down. But I can go front. Adrian Broner, the way he was rapping on that shit. I would love to see them he, actually he battle, like, Andrew both write y'all bars and man. come with three he, rounds he said, and battle. He said I would that like shit, to see like, that shit. I he was like, that's what he used was to do, like, like he used to write bars and shit. It was like, that's what he used to do, like, battle niggas, freestyle, write bars. So, so, I think he could probably do it. I mean, from that show on right there, he can do it. Now, do I think he's, like, one of the top tier battle rapper? No. no. But do I think he could choose some niggas in the battle rap world? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I think so. Definitely. I'd bet money on it. Shout out to AB, shout out to Murder Movie, man. Thanks. Thanks. Shout out to Susur. Uh, shout out to shout Jerome. To, <laughs> shout out to Rob. Shout out to 100 Bullets. Oh, man. That's all we got, man. Shout out to K-Shine, B. Shout out to K-Shine. Shout out to... Shout out to N-O-U-X. Shout, shout out to Dot. Yo, shout out to Dot. Yo, you know. Oh, um... Shout out to all the battle rappers that are just taking battles on other leagues and feeling like they could just go over there and fuck up and just lose battles. Um, this shit gonna have to stop, my nigga, because niggas is out here wilding just, just for the check. Niggas is gonna have to start making penalties for these niggas because niggas just running around not caring about battles. <sighs> We're gonna have to start deducting the chicken, man. That's the only way these niggas is gonna start caring about actually putting... Putting out good material in these battles, so something gonna have to happen. Man. Bring the balls, man. Charlie Clips, bring a third fucking round every fucking battle, please. So we want Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, he about to battle shot that shit. <laughs> I think he's gonna choose shotgun. He's gonna. I mean, of course, he's gonna be shotgun. I would love to see uh, Shotgun show pocket, pocket check that. Like, he's going to it's do gonna, it. It's like, gonna. That's just inevitable. But Cliffs though, he got pocket check Cliffs. Hell yeah, yeah. He's tiny. Shotgun will pocket check anybody. Anybody that's little than Shotgun, he'll pocket check. Pocket check 
Uh, <laughs> not pocket check. Maybe shotgun Shook would not pocket check head ice. Yes, he would. I Maybe think not. Shotgun Shook is crazy enough that he will try. Cause he he's, would try. He's Grape Street Crip. He would try. Don't mean nothing, but he would definitely try. Nah, it means everything. Grape Street Crip. <laughs> Shaboy reheated, man. Everything slutty. Dab two times. Woo woo. It's your boy P. Heater, man, a.k.a. Ghost, a.k.a. Bad Guy, a.k.a. Dread Hep to your girl legs, a lot of a.k.a.'s, fuck you. You already know, man, it's your boy B. Heater, a.k.a. B. Heater, so go everything like here. It's your boy Wink Heater, man. I love your boy. <laughs> you bitch ass.